to give you an idea of the size of the ammunition we're talking about, the round that damaged the home near Charleston was bigger than this. Uh, you just heard it, and uh, that's what we heard. The 155 millimeter howitzer round that damaged this home also flew over John Strobel's house. Boom! Real loud. And uh, it'll, it'll, it shakes the house. Right now, an investigator with the Missouri National Guard is on the way to inspect the damage. The guard says they will cover all repair costs. We could be hit too. I mean, they were way off target when they shot, from what I understand, way off. Cindy Hunter also lives near Fort Chaffee. She says she's worried about her family's safety. People live down here. I'm afraid to let my kids, my grandkids, come outside and play now. I mean, it's got everybody scared. Hunter says the bombs at times seem to be getting closer to their neighborhood. My house one time, they fired a shell and it shook, and it's never happened before here. It's scary. It's real scary for a while. It got close on this one here. Here we go again. And after being recertified, the Missouri National Guard has resumed their training here at Fort Chaffee. Reporting tonight, Brett Rains, 4029 News. Okay, Brett, now the group responsible for that misfire, about five of them are not being allowed to.